Hey, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan the Game, and it sounded like I was choking just now on the A Yurt, but I wasn't. <laughs> and I'm back with a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Um, man, look, let me be honest. You might not see a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay for a while. I might go and play Black Ops because this game has just been frustrating, dog. Like all this morning. I mean, I hate to cry about the game. Like, you know, I done cried about the game so many times about how broken it is. But, man, this game is broken. The lag compensation is a problem, dude. I was, look, I'm trying to get those, those, uh, not NASA one, those Market J videos. You know, them 60 kill games and stuff like that. I'm, I've been trying my best to get those all morning. And I know I should be able to do it, but I can't because there's always some kind of a time foolery that goes on in this game. And it ends up stopping me from doing it. Either I'm shooting at a guy and it doesn't give a hit marker at all and he kills me instantly. And then on the kill cam it shows me not shooting my gun at all. And he shot me about seven times before I died. Or they spawn somebody behind me when there's already like the whole crew in front of me. So I'm like, okay, well, how in the world is he behind me if they're spawning in front of me? But, you know, things like that, man. This game, it's just a lot of problems with this game, man. And well, you got the people that, like on this video, there was a guy who actually camped in a corner and shot me in the side when I was shooting at his homeboy in front of me. So, things like that mess it up. I don't understand how the Mark J and those, those guys get those Moabs and stuff like that all the time because, I don't know, I don't get that luck, man. I don't, and they, you know, I watched a couple of their videos, they say you have to learn the game, learn the spawns and stuff. Like, you can't learn the spawn. The, the spawns are sporadic. Like, you don't know where they're going to be. They can be anywhere. If you're... If two of your guys move up where they're spawning, then they're going to spawn in front of you and behind you. It's, it's nowhere to actually pinpoint where they're going to spawn, man. So I don't understand, you know, the whole logic of learning the spawns on this game. Now, Black Ops and all the other Call of Duties, I can figure the spawns out. I can understand. I know when they're going to spawn in a certain spot and everything like that. And I know that if one is spawning there, then all of them are going to spawn there. But not in this game. It doesn't work that way, man. So I don't understand how they do it. But anyway, I'm going to stop raging because I'm raging right now. It's, it, it, it just, man, I was flipping out all morning like man this game was killing me i was getting a headache I, you know it was just everything my heart was starting to hurt i almost had a heart attack i swear to goodness i almost did and i don't get heart attacks on on battlefield like but i get them on this i don't get them on i don't get them on black house either but this game this game makes me rage dog but anyway man i recorded some live gameplay so you can see you know what i'm talking about with the lag conversation it's not this video but it's some other videos i recorded that i may post and i was getting dominated in the game so you can see that i'm not always beasting on kids in this game because sometimes the game gets the best of me not the players but the game because the game is is just broken but um anyway man let's talk about the topic today um recently man i've been watching these videos from these guys called reckless eating and it's crazy man it's these it's a bunch of these friends or whatever and what they do is they get like certain foods that are either exotic or or they you know do challenges with liquor like they see how many drinks they can drink at a certain time or they mix the drinks with all this crazy stuff or they eat all these exotic nasty foods and stuff like that and basically see if they can hold it down and then then um some of the stuff that like candies and stuff like that they'll just actually try them out and see how sour they are or how spicy they are and they're rated on how good it tastes or and stuff like that it's a it's a they're, they're pretty good videos. I enjoy watching them because, you know, <laughs> most of the time they always throw up. And that's funny to me. When people throwing up, it's hilarious to me. I don't know why, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> Mainly because it's just the noise and the, the look on their face when they're doing it and stuff like that. And, and just how it sometimes spontaneously just happens. You know, it just makes me laugh. But anyway, man, I've been watching these guys, man. And it just made me think about, like, what is the strangest thing that you've ever eaten, man? Like. Why are all these commentaries got to have questions? You know, I just thought about that. Like, every commentary I do always has to have, like, a question. <laughs> but, yeah, man, what what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten in your life, man, tasted? And did you enjoy it? Because, you know, I learned this. See, there's a camper in the corner right there. That's the camper I was talking about. Blew my whole Moab streak right there. But, um, I was trying to get a salt Moab and everything. But, yeah, man, like, you know, it's things that, you know, in, in America we see as weird that other people might eat other things, you know, that they find as a delicacy. We might find it weird and nasty, but there's things that we eat that people that aren't that aren't from America may find weird and nasty, or whatever other country they might find weird and nasty. So we've been talking about that in sociology. Like he, my my t my teacher would he would mention uh, crabs, you know, because you have to hit it with a mallet and then open it up and eat it. And some people find that strange from different countries and stuff like that because they may not have crabs. So. 
We got to think about that when we, when we say people's food is weird and we ask them why do they eat it. Like when people, you know, some people in the little Asian countries eat like bugs and stuff like that. And it's a delicacy to that. But we look at it like, oh, yo, what you eat bugs for? You're supposed to kill bugs. <laughs> like you're not supposed to eat them. That's disgusting, man. So if you guys have eaten anything weird, man, hey. Let me know, man. I just want to know, man, what was the nastiest, weirdest thing you've ever eaten or craziest thing you've ever eaten in your whole life. Put it in the comment box. Also, this is a short commentary, so it's about to end. So, also, rate the video and also subscribe. Um, And I'll probably have another Modern Warfare 3 video up later on. I'll probably be ranting on anything like that, more than likely. But, yeah, I'll probably be ranting. It'll probably be the video I was just talking about earlier. But, um, yeah, anyway... This is your boy Tick, aka Game for Act, the Michael Jordan of Gaming, also the best Call of Duty player alive, except for, uh, except for today. <laughs> except for today. Call of Duty had the best of me. It, it was taking care of me today. But, um, oh, shoot, I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention what was the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. Um, I don't know, man. Is, I've, I've eaten a lot of crazy things in my life. Look, somebody saved my life right here. I've eaten a lot of crazy things in my life, but, uh, before I sign, I'm gonna let you guys know. The weirdest thing I've ever eaten in my life would have to be, um, and I actually liked it too. It would have to be, shoot, pussy. Bye!